Hey guys, welcome back to Fundamental Problems in Chapter 2. Uh, this is the Hebler 12th edition. Uh, much of it doesn't change from edition to edition. So I would recommend doing the fundamental problems from each section as you go through your homework problems. And that way you have a solid grasp on all the subject. Especially like when you get to friction problems, which I will be doing next after I finish Chapter 2. All right, so let's get into this one. Um, so they're trying to determine, they're, they want you to determine the magnitude of the resultant force acting on this on this eye hook thing, okay? And in order to do that, um, you can either, if you're advanced, you know how to split vectors up into X and Y components and you can do it that way. But when they slowly, they're slowly bringing up to speed in the beginning chapter, in the beginning sections of chapter two, so we're going to be teaching you like the sine law, which I'll write down here. So the sine law, you won't have to memorize it, or if you memorize it, you can just dump it after like your first midterm, since no professor is going to spend their time quizzing you on this, or testing you on it at least. And then we have the cosine law, right? The cosine law is this one right here. And again, this is just more memorization, but you know that cosine 90 here, okay? Cosine 90 should be, you know, a zero, and then you should get back Pythagorean theorem, okay? So remember, Pythagorean theorem applies to 90 degree triangles, and that's why this side disappears. All right, so you have two vectors that they want you to get the resultant, and in order to do that, you have to add up these two vectors, okay? And then this is vector A and vector B. Okay, in order to get the resultant, you just want to do A plus B equals uh, C. Okay, remember their magnitudes and direction matter and also their, their vectors. Or you can do B plus, uh, oops, plus A equals C. Okay, so we do A plus B all right. Um, if we do a plus b, we're gonna have first let's draw an auxiliary line, which is just draw an x-axis because you want to keep the forty-five degree as close as possible. So this will be a. All right, and we know that this is forty-five degrees. Again, draw another auxiliary line parallel to this. Right, and now we're going to tack on B to the end of A. So B, and again, it's going to be at a 60 degree angle from the horizontal line. So it's going to be something like this. Um, this is B, A, and then we have a 60 degree angle here. All right, what about this angle here? All right, two parallel lines, a line intersecting it. We know that that's 45 degrees. All right. And now we know that this angle that's formed right here will be 105 degrees. Okay. And now A plus B equals C. All right. So where is the resultant vector? Well, it's going to be the vector that starts at the beginning of A and ends where your summation of vector ends. Okay, so it ends right there. And again, so if you did B plus A, so if you did B plus A, or that's kind of sloppy, but again, it should sort of point in the same direction. Okay, if you do it on paper with a scale and everything, you should get the same result. All right, let's go back, let's go back. All right, so this is C. And that's what we're looking for. All right, so which one of these should we should we pick? Which one do we have enough information to, to actually solve for, for something? All right, so in this case, it's going to be the cosine law, all right? We don't know C, but we know everything else, okay? Actually, correction here, this is B. So just hold off on your comments. <laughs> I corrected it. So it's 2AB, all right? So let's do this so it's going to be c equals square root of a squared we know the the side of a 
vector a is going to be the magnitude of two kilonewtons. Okay, so it's going to be two squared four. The side of b is six, right? The magnitude. Uh, so oops, thirty. So it's going to be thirty-six. Six squared minus two ab. All right. So that's two times four times six. Okay. So we're going to have uh, 24. All right? 2 times 6, 12 times 2, 24. Yeah, I think I said something different before. Um, and then cosine theta C. So, theta, so it's going to be the angle opposite to the angle, I'm sorry, to the side C. So that corresponds to this angle of 105. Okay? So cosine 105. And then let's just plug that in and let's see what we get. So 4 plus 36 minus 4, sorry, 24 times cosine 105. And the square root of that. So C is about 6.8 kilonewtons. Okay, so that is the magnitude. Okay, so you can so notice how I don't put a vector on it. I just called it C because it's just a magnitude. There's no direction to it. Okay, and now we're gonna get the the angle that it forms with the x-axis measured clockwise from the x-axis, like they ask us to. Okay, so that will be this total angle here. Uh, and you can call that, let's say, beta. That is one ugly beta. And then this is alpha. Oops, let's, oh man. Let's use a different color for that. Um, and this will be alpha. Okay. So that the angle between C and A is alpha, and the total angle between the x-axis and C is beta. Okay, so we know that beta will equal alpha plus 45 degrees. All right, and how do we get alpha? Well, now we can use the sine law. All right, so just plug and chug. So let's see. Uh, we want to use B, right? Because the angle opposite to the the side of B, the six kilonewtons, it's going to be alpha. So we're going to do six over sine alpha equals six point eight over sine one hundred five. All right, and then sine alpha. Uh, I guess we'll do this inverse sine. Six sine 105 divided by 6.8. Let's do it. 6 divided by 6.8 times sine 105. And 6.8 inverse sine of this. So I get like 58, uh, 0.5 degrees, roughly. All right. And so we just got to add the 58.5 plus, um, plus 45. So now the angle that it makes with the x-axis will be 58.5 plus 45 degrees and that'll give you roughly 103.5 okay and now you have the magnitude of C and the direction of C okay all right guys thanks for sticking with me if you guys need more practice with vectors uh, shoot me a comment and I'll see if I can make a video about that Get you guys up to speed. Alright guys, thanks for your time. Take it easy.